Hello, hello. <clears throat> okay, I have actually already filmed this video once. Um, but my microphone battery had gone and I didn't actually realise. So, we'll try again. <laughs> oh, it seems I always have something. So, this video is a little bit different. Um, if you've been watching me for a little while, you probably heard me going on about my shed space and being desperate to have some crafting area of my own as I currently work out of the dining room of my house and it gets a little noisy and a little cramped and it can be very challenging. So, um, little backstory, I had many years ago a shed for my um, my artwork, my crafting that I used to do many years ago before I had the children. Um, and or what should I say, when we first moved in and we had one child, but she was only very little. Um, but as life goes on and you have more children and you have less space and children take over life, we started filling the shed with stuff and you know just life happens and I got didn't have time for doing my art and crafts and things like that and um, yeah we ended up with three children and the sort of the house got smaller so to speak and my shed just got full so we ended up putting everything in here um, and it was just floor to ceiling with everything we didn't have space for and um, this last sort of several months, I decided that's it. I've enough. I can't work in the house anymore. It's too noisy. It's too full. We have no space. So um, over the years, uh, the shed was very good quality when I bought it. And over the years, my husband's maintained it and done the external roof. But we had this big leak. So he had to fix the roof. But inside we had this huge leak and so we had to redo the internal of the roof. So we made a very good job of redoing the roof. But it meant that we didn't realise we had a big floor problem. So we had to, when I started emptying and throwing everything away and that, we had great big patches of floor that were no good. So we spent the last several months ripping out part of the floor but we had to move everything over. You know how it goes. So it took us months to get here because I work full time. I've got the children. My husband works very long hours. So I do sort of, I look after the children and I work and it's very chaotic. So we're looking at the one end that I've managed to Ikea and get functional to some degree. But we still have, I still have all of this to do and I still have all of I've got that shelving unit there that behind all of that rubbish that is functional and that one in the back that is functional but all of this has to be sorted and all of the other side to my right has to be sorted but this area we've made functional so at least I can film this end so I wanted to show you what we've been doing and some really good finds um, on a budget that I found from Ikea. So the back shelves, there's four shelves my husband's put up there, four shelves on some metal racking and those I'm really bad with, you know I'm bad with words, but these Ikea names, wow, they, they, they take some saying. So those, um, we had to cut them and sort of, because the shed it, it, well, it's not perfectly square anymore. And with the ply board that we had to put behind and with the... My husband's insulated it for me. That is much thicker board. This is thinner board this side, so it's kind of undulated. So these are Tranholt shelves. They're 120 by 30. There is, they were um, £25 each. Um, so it was £100 for the four shelves. You can get cheaper, but I needed them to be solid wood so that we could cut them. Um, and then the um, storage units 
on the bottom there. There's four full ones and then there's a little half one on the bottom because I couldn't fit a fifth one in. Those are brilliant. There's four mesh uh, baskets to each one and they're £45 each, which I thought was brilliant. They don't come with the tops, you have to buy the tops separately. But I'm going to put, um, because they didn't fit perfectly level, um, you can see little gaps. I'm going to put a worktop over that eventually. Um, but you can get sort of cheap worktops to go on there. And those are um, John Axel. Um, so I thought those were fantastic. Um, they, they hold a lot of stuff. They're really big, really sturdy. And they hold quite a lot. Um, and then the desk, the desk, well, it's just actually literally a desktop. You, they do a mix and match range. So I just bought my husband, I've got my old art desk under here. And my husband um, fitted this desk over the top. So he's literally put some legs and fitted this over the top. And the desk is 120 by 70 the desktop and it was 29 pounds can you believe it 29 pounds for the dot the top and the legs were two pound 50 each i'll put all the information in the in the description box below but it's a trotten desktop um and the legs were two pound 50 each so that is an absolute bargain absolute bargain because my my old wooden desk it tilts and stuff like that and it's got like um a ridge on it and things so it, it really wasn't functional for work and then this little find which um, which I'll, I'll clamp onto the desk now and show you. Um, but this, which I'm going to put on the back of my desk to give me extra storage for um, like my pencil pots and things like that, uh, or my glues and glitters and things like that. Um, but I have some of the storage ideas. I've got a, a video coming out, which you'll see that pile over there um, of storage ideas, craft storage that I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm basically getting, hopefully getting up and running in here and then we'll have less. Um, I've got my chair to come in here, which I did get from Ikea. That's in the house, that's going to come in here. Um, yeah, so I'm getting up and running and hopefully it won't be very long before I'm actually filming properly in here and there'll be less noise and I'll have more um, time to do it and I won't have to worry about the sort of the family environment, you know, kids running around and things like that. So I've got... Another idea to go across the back here. Um, I've seen something that I want to go across the back, but I won't tell you what that is at the moment. Um, so yes, things are going nicely. Um, I've got... Things are going nicely. I've got... Uh, sorry, the dog next door is going mad. Um, yes, I've got things in the plan. I've got things in the pipe. So it's a working progress, and I'm really excited for you to see what's going on. And, and uh, yeah, join me in my adventure. So I'll put this up and I'll, I'll put this little stand up and you can see um, what it's going to look like. Okay, so this is the unit, but as you can see, there's absolutely loads of space. I mean, I've got loads and loads of space for the glues and the um, glitters and pots and things like that. And this is um, was only fifteen pound. Can you believe it? It's metal. It's really, it's really sturdy. It's good quality. I love it. I'm wondering whether to get another one. Um, you can have it in different positions, so you can have it in the centre, or you can have it to the front or the back. So, yeah, 
I'm undecided on which side I'm going to put it yet, but I could have it on the end, on the side. It's really good. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Watch this space. I'm hoping it's going to transform. I've got stuff to go on the walls, stuff to go on the back. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing it on a budget, so everything I find is, um, yeah, is going to be as I'm going along. So, um, yeah, I'll put all the stuff in the description box below and see if you like it. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.